and welcome Creativity. I'm your girl C. Today's DIY tutorial is turning lanterns into hot air balloons and I'll show you the two different types. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications for future videos. Okay, let's get started. Sailor Goon, hit that beat! I have a 12 inch lantern, a styrofoam bowl, and 8.5 by 11 white and brown cardstock. Measure out two and a half inch strips, cut them out, and then add a quarter inch seam along the edge, and then glue them together. Place the white circle on the bottom of the bowl, center it, trace it, and then cut it out. Insert the white circle into the cutout just to see if it fits, but we're not going to glue it yet. These silver hoops indicate the top portion of the lantern. This will be your bottom side. We're going to glue the styrofoam bowl to the bottom side of the lantern. Make sure you center it when you apply it. Once it's dried, you can insert the white circle, making sure there's a one and a quarter inch sleeve, and then add glue to the seam. Once it's dry, open the lantern and carefully insert the metal support piece. Using crepe paper streamers, cut out 17 inch strips. Our hot air balloon is 15 inches in length and this extra allowance will allow us to glue it on both ends of the hot air balloon. As you're adding each new strip, you can overlap them to cover the white. Since our hot air balloon is 15 inches in length, our midpoint will be 7.5 inches and I'm going to make that marking around the circumference of the hot air balloon at that point. This is going to help me determine where I'm going to add the decoration around the hot air balloon. The circumference of the hot air balloon is 37 inches and I'm going to divide that by 5 since that's going to be where I'm going to glue the decorative trim. And in between each gluing point, there's going to be 7.4 inches in space. So my gluing points are indicated by the cross hatchings. I'm going to allow 9 inches of extra trim for draping between each gluing point. Now add trimming to the basket. Picking 12 inch ribbon, cut it in half, add your quarter markings, and then glue that to the basket. At the other end of the ribbon, we're going to make a 3 quarter inch marking, and this is where we're going to glue it to the hot air balloon. Summer breeze will carry us away oh, oh, oh. And I'll leave you be if you end Oh, up isn't right this one so cute? Okay, now that we're finished with the small hot air balloon On to the big one So the difference with the big one is that We're gonna have to use two styrofoam bowls And add a solo cup between them And I'll show you how we're going to sandwich the solo cup between two styrofoam bowls. If you don't have a solo cup, you could use another styrofoam cup. The reason why we do this is to give it a more tapered look to the bigger lanterns. This bigger lantern is about 24 inches. Make sure to center the cup onto the bowl as you glue it. 
Remember, this is being glued to the bottom side of the lantern. The sun hits on your face, it's perfect. Summer breeze will carry us away. Oh, oh, oh. And I'll leave you be if you end up right next to me. Still. I ordered these crepe paper rolls online only because they come in a wider roll and you could adjust the strips to three or four inches in width to help you cover the hot air balloon a lot better compared to using crepe paper streamers which would be more narrow and more time consuming in covering the hot air balloon. As you can see the placement of the bowls and solo cup is glued to the bottom half of the lantern. Here's the view from the top inside of the hot air balloon and here's the bottom side. Isn't this hot air balloon perfect with the basket? You can hang it low enough where it can be attached to the basket as the basket's sitting on the floor. And this is perfect for a baby's first photo or even first birthdays. That's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button or leave a comment. Until the next DIY, goodbye.